<clears throat> I do feel there is an element here of waiting first of all okay and waiting to get all the fats to get all your ducks in a row and to like um, wait for other people like giving other people a chance to um, come to the fore with like information that you requested in order for you to make the decision okay and crossing it here is the king of coins okay so mr right is making a comeback here so i believe it was like last month in which you um the the aries reading showed a an earth sign but it could also be somebody who is very financially endowed somebody who um this is like the ideal man very very handsome so first of all and um, I've received a lot of comments in that um, that reading so I'm going to say you know it's it can be an earth sign or just somebody who is very very financially well off there is an element of long distance travel as well associated with you and this um, this earth sign or somebody who's very financially well off who comes bearing trinkets and gifts and who makes you feel like a a princess or a prince okay so it can play both um, it can play out in both ways so um, there's an element here in which you're trying to make a decision and the decision is contingent upon you know the actions of this person um, seen here as the king of pentacles and in the past position we have the seven of cups which is in the reverse position which is like illusions and um, the dissipation of illusions okay so it's sort of like um, all the false choices are basically dissolving from from your life and you're left with the real thing so a lot of you have found the right partner okay or, or like um, at this point you really know what you want to do and how to proceed forward let me pull out the other cards first before I start talking because the next card is in the reverse position and I want to know what that is in relation to Okay, wow, this is interesting. Okay, wow, you have a very, very good, like, um, outcome here. So, let's just say this. Okay, so um, the cards are all, like, echoing the same type of theme, okay? Which is that... Um, Illusions are dissipating and you're basically left with the real thing and one of the thing is um, in the um, I guess like the subconscious the the thing in your environment that you're not aware of this position here We have the high priestess which is like the lifting of the veil which is like gauging somebody's true intention for their character and um, It's kind of like at this point the other person that you're involved with and I do feel it might be a romantic partnership Okay the other people that you're involved with, um, they sh came forward with uh, actions rather than just words, okay? So at this point, there's that element here of like you're putting somebody um, on, on through a test and you're just like, will he or she deliver or will they not? And for this week, you're waiting. You're waiting and you're waiting for this, you know... Um, for them to come forward to show you something concrete. I feel that a lot of you are doing that and you're putting this person on, uh, through a test, okay? In terms of what's crowning you here is the six of wands in the reverse position. I do feel that in the past too, this person might have like talked big and they end up like kind of disappointing you. So now you're giving them another chance and it's all dependent on whether or not they will follow through this time. So it's kind of like that last that last test okay it's like that last try in this situation if you're dealing with like somebody who is an earth sign okay and in terms of what's coming in here I have the four of swords in the reverse position so I feel that in the past you might have prayed you might have like um, asked your angels to give you a sign and I do feel that um, the angels are then re responding you know I I won't give you a sign but I can um, you can figure this one out on your own and you're just like what do I do and now you come up with a plan which is like you know give this person one more try and then see if they deliver all right so it's kind of like that whole um, praying period is it's over because now you want concrete actions and you're not going to wait any longer for for like intangible results okay you want something concrete at this point and being an Aries I do feel that um, 
you know, the, the universe will drop like information or will drop relay messages to you. And um, it's not going to be the way of um, that works for the other signs. I do feel that you, you are very like um, action oriented. So in this situation, you know exactly what you have to do. However, you are afraid to do it because you're just like, this person is so perfect. What if they don't follow through? And then I'm going to have to be forced to scrap them from my life, okay? So you're kind of hesitant about that. But I do feel that you ultimately always know what you need to do. So you're kind of like, there is a test here. There is a period of waiting on this person and to gauge the action of this person. And this is something that you you brought about to um, to give you the concrete answer that you need. Okay, so um, let's see here. As for the advice, I have the Nine of Cups in the reverse position. So if you have an inkling that this person is like um, is not going to follow through, I do feel that um, this is kind of like that last chance in which, you know, you told them it was the absolute last chance. If they don't follow through, then it is really important to like stick to your gun and just let it go. All right. In terms of your external environment, I do have the 10 of coins here. The 10 of coins is some um, is like a, a huge financial gain. This is a very like stable home life structure. And um, I do feel as for the external environment, okay, so I'm going to go back to say this one more time just because um, we do have the Three of Cups, which is like the um, another party possibly involved in this relationship. So for example, for those of you who are involved with somebody who, who seems like way too good to be true, and you're just like, why are you still single? Chances are he or she might not be single. And the external environment is that um, there are financial entanglements between this person and another, um, another like person. So another man or another woman. Okay, depending on their gender. So there are like financial entanglements, possibly like a, possibly like a um, a house, an estate in which they're like jointly combined so they can't really like get a divorce or they can't really separate because of the huge financial loss that they're um that might come in as a result of a, a separation okay so just um be careful if you are in a three some type of situation knowingly and you're like the mister or the missus okay additionally if the person that you're involved with doesn't real doesn't have um you know, like a, a secret marriage that or an affair that you're not aware of. I do feel that um, you are waiting. A lot of you might be waiting on this person to make a huge financial investment. OK, so it could be like a, a housing situation, a property, like getting the money for a down payment or even like getting a property together. And in terms of um, your hopes, you're hoping that all of this will pan out and that you would, would have like a very big um celebratory um energy coming through for you okay and i can say here that um we do have good cards as the outcome we have the page of coins which is like um news regarding finances okay so it's it's looking very good for those of you who are looking for investors and things like that i do feel it is going to come in for you for this month uh for this week excuse me however there is once again another person in the picture another person is going to be here so um, this is a, a water sign person. It could also indicate that you're going to be like very ecstatic and joyful and like feel very emotionally fulfilled. But at the same time, I do sense that there is another figure outside of yourself because you are a fire sign. This is a water sign woman. So this is somebody that might have the be entangled in this situation or it could play out as you being very like emotionally fulfilled because this person came through and they they deliver what they promise okay at the same time there is a page of wands here which indicates like a um a messenger this is a messenger a bringer of good news because it's in the upright position and if you look up here um the bird is bringing like a letter of love okay so this is going to rejuvenate the passion and the the i guess the joy and passion within your life situation and love so this week overall I feel as if a lot of you might be reliant on another person to um, bring you to that ultimate, like, um, 
new lease on love and life. And I do feel that um, they are going to deliver, okay? They are going to deliver. However, if you're in a threesome type of relationship, um, I would say that, you know, you're going to get like only half of what it is that you want, but it still feels very, very abundant, all right? So not to worry. Also, keep me posted and let me know how this plays out for you. For example, if it is like a threesome type of situation that you're in where you might potentially be the mister or the missus, or if it's just like a financial investment in a home situation that you are counting on um, like an investment opportunity or a big sum of money from another person in order to like jumpstart some areas of your life, okay?